Today I'm counting down the top five new historical dramas of 2015. Because we like historical dramas, don't we, Maki? Coming in at number five is Maid Soul. This one actually already started, but it had some issues. As in, sets burn down and people die issues. Well, one person died. But if you like Kim Dong-wook, Oh Ji-ho, or Jung Yoo Mi, then it's totally worth watching. The rest of it, that is. Beyond the first episode. And number four is Jing Bi Rak. It's a war drama based on a super old Korean story about a brilliant Confucian scholar who was put in charge during the time of Admiral Yi Soon Chin. Who's like one of the biggest war heroes, most famous war hero in all of Korean history. Maggie, you don't even know. Coming out in February, it has a bunch of older actors starring in it. So I don't think that you're going to be interested in it, but it will definitely be popular in Korea. And that straw is popular with Maki. And number three is Shiner Go Crazy. Jung Hyuk stars as a prince who's always known turmoil. He's right here, behind Maki. And is now caught between two women. One played by Oh Yeon Sa is an intelligent spunky princess, like my little spunky princess here, of a doomed kingdom that he falls in love with. I love you, Maki. Don't bite me. <laughs> the other, played by Honey Lee, is her ultimate rival in this January drama. And number two is Hwa Jung. This late April drama stars Cha Sung Wan, Lee Eun Hee, and Sa Kung Joon in a drama where the crown prince is only two years old when the throne comes up for grabs. So it goes to his older brother and the two sides are fighting for the crown. Yes, because it's not always the oldest. It's like, who has the most direct line? And people die because of it. And the number one Korean historical drama of 2015 is Scholar Who Walks at Night. Supposedly, it's going to air the last day of 2015. Or maybe, like, the second to last day. Monkey, I know it's very pretty, but it's my, it, it keeps my keyboard clean. This one sounds like a cross between Sunkyo Kwan Scandal and a vampire comic. What did I just tell you? It's the story of a chosen era girl whose father, a nobleman, is framed. So she decides to sell books to support her family. He's innocent of the crime, by the way. Maki got me a little distracted there for a second. So cross-dressing as a boy in order to sell these books, she runs into a handsome young man played by Pak Hae Jin, who plays a noble scholar, but he's actually a vampire. It's either going to be absolutely fantastic or absolutely terrible. And thus, I want to see it. Last week, which Korean romantic comedy of 2015 are you more looking forward to? Kill Me, Heal Me or Jekyll, Hyde and I? And you guys basically voted for Jekyll, Hyde and I 2 to 1 over Kill Me, Heal Me, so Jekyll, Hyde and I for the win! For this week, which Korean historical drama of 2015 looks better? Shiner Go Crazy or I forgot the other one? Scholar Who Walks at Night. Scholar Who Walks at Night. Thank you, Richard. Click this link or the link in the description box to vote or drop your answers in the YouTube comments and we'll find out the winner next week. Dude, you guys, I'm on Snapchat and I'm snapping. This and Maki, she's attacking bubble wrap in a box. And this is it too. She's popping them like this. <laughs> Be sure to follow me. The username is at how you back. I snap every day. Also be sure to press the like it button if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this and subscribe you guys for Asian drama videos. That's it. Happy drama watching. See ya. Last week, which romantic comedy of 2014 are you more looking forward to? Kill Me, Heal Me or Jekyll Hyde and I? 2015. Did I say 2014? Yep. Oh crap, I did it. <laughs>